Hello everyone and welcome to Lower Body Express. In this workout we are going to be focusing on all the muscles in the lower body including the glutes, hamstrings, quads, and even the core. Now at the end of the workout we do have a bit of cardio so be sure to grab a water and towel so that you can work out comfortably with me. My name is Grace Gama and I'm happy to be here with you. Um, all we're going to need today is one set of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, please use a heavy weight such as a water bottle or a uh, detergent bottle or um, I don't know, anything that you have on hand. Now if you want, you can just use a single weight because that's what we've got worked out today. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we'll take about five minutes to warm up. And the first thing we're going to do is just regular squats. Okay, regular squats, meaning our toes are going to be facing slightly forward or diagonal. And we're sitting straight back into a chair. Now, if you can't see me, I'll turn to the side so you can see that I want just a nice flat back. So our core is going to be engaged on the way down as well as the way up. Hold down in three. Warm up those legs a little more in two. And one. Wiggle those toes to make sure that all the weight, or not all the weight, but most of the weight is supposed to focus back onto our heels. Let's hold for four, three, two, one. And come back to butt kickers. Anytime that you need a break throughout this workout, feel free to come back to butt kickers and then join on with me. Okay, the next movement we're going to work on is a world's greatest stretch, which is a nice inhale overhead. I'll come over so you can see me from the side. Exhale, forward fold. Let's walk the hands out into high plank. High plank just here for a second. Take this right leg and step it up next to that left leg. I'm going to mirror y'all. Now we have a nice 90 degree angle in that front ankle. I'm sorry, front knee. Now let's open up towards that right side. Open up the chest. Perfect. Push down, high plank. Leg comes back, opposite side. Open up. When we rotate towards this side, the goal is to open up the outer hip right there. Go ahead and push back. Other side, couple more. High plank, push back. Other side, rotate. And beautiful, push back. Let's walk those hands back. Roll it on up. Now, let's start with just regular lunges. Take a step forward with that left leg. Hands come at your hips. No weights quite yet. And regular lunges. All right, so lunges just like our squats. However, basically, it's a single leg squat. I'll turn to the side so you all can see me. Single leg squat. I'm using my back leg to help me balance. And up. Hold in three. Hold in two, chest up. Hold in one, and hold. Perfect. Warming up the legs a little bit more by this static hold. Three, last two, and one. Take a stand, shake it up. Other side. Step forward, and bend. It's a little bit of a balancing game with our lunges sometimes. We get so used to doing our squats, which is okay. However, it's good to come into a nice little forward lunge just so we make sure we're working on our balance game. Hold four, hold in three, two, hold one, and hold. Nice job, chest is back, earlobes, I'm sorry, shoulders are away from our earlobes, you're almost there. Hold three, last two, and one, shake it out. All right, so now bringing up our arms a little bit into our nice squat overhead reach. Ready? Squat down, overhead reach. We're gonna build off this movement a little bit, so bear with me. So squat, just so we practiced, bringing those arms overhead is all we're doing. Now, we're gonna break it down into a burpee. Very, but a very slow burpee because we're in our warm up. Ready? Three. Planting those hands down in two, in one. Plant those hands down. 
Push those feet back, high plank. Walk those feet back to squat. Reach overhead, nice low impact burpee. Ready? Push back. And up. Push back. And up, no jumping quite yet. We're just warming up. Four more. Up. Three more. Up. Last two. Nice job, one more. And up, good. Shake it up. So, now we're gonna head into our workout. Let me explain for a few seconds while y'all catch your breath. And this is how it's gonna go. So we have a circuit today, all about just moving from one movement to the next. I have five movements for you guys that we're gonna go through together, do them 30 seconds per movement, all the way around three times. All right, at the end, we have a little bit of cardio to go, but trust me, with this workout, you'll be sure to sweat. Okay, so again, make sure you have that water and towel nearby at hand. Come back to that side tuck or butt kicker. Now, let's head into our workout, okay? So we're gonna pick up our dumbbells, or preferably one dumbbell. One that's maybe on the lighter side, but you can work with whatever you have. We're gonna go for a counterbalance squat. Okay, so counterbalance meaning we have a weight in one arm and we're squatting with our body. Okay, so go ahead, extend that weight out in front of you. This one's a challenging one simply because our arms are working. 30 seconds in our squat. Nice job, I'm keeping the eye on the time for all of us. Take a seat back into that chair. If that weight is a little bit too heavy, just bend the arms, bring it closer to the chest. Because the real challenge is holding weight in front of us, but still maintaining that proper squat form. Four, you got it, three, and two, and one, shake it out. Now, kind of similar movement, we're going in for goblet squat. So now bringing this weight closer to our chest, I'll turn to the side so y'all can see. Weight's close to our chest, goblet squat, 30 seconds, three, two, and one, go. Nice job. If you're already sweating, that's okay. Just know I'm here with you, working, sweating, nice job. You got another 15 seconds with this goblet squat. Back is flat, chins off the chest. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, set that weight down. 30 more seconds, zero weight squat. Ready, four, three, two, one, go. Whoo. All righty, we're out from the gate. Right out of the gate, we're working all that squat. Our next movement, I promise you, won't be squat. <laughs> Good news for us. Then, we'll be heading down into our glute bridge in five. Good, four, three, two, one, great job. Shake it out right before we head down to the ground. This next movement is all about the glutes and a little bit of hammy work, okay? So, go ahead and grab your nearby weight. Whew. Take a seat onto the ground. I'll turn to the side so y'all can see me. Lean back onto the floor. And what we're gonna do is set our weight onto our hips or not, up to you and push our tailbone straight up towards the ceiling for 30 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. The goal here is to make sure we keep that back as flat as possible. I'm gonna turn to the side so you all can see my face. Our back is as flat as it can be. 
so that we're not arching and we're making sure that that push, we're pushing that weight up with the glutes and the hamstrings. You got it. Halfway there. Level two challenge would be to elevate those toes off the ground and push those weights straight up towards the ceiling. Four, last three, this next round I have more challenge. Two, one, great job. Take a seat on up. Alrighty, now the next movement we got our Bulgarian split squats. Bulgarian split squats, all it means is we're elevating that back leg off the ground. However, I'll give you a few options here. Level one, regular squat like we practiced in the warm up. Okay, level two, elevate that back leg onto a surface such as a chair. Sorry, I didn't mention it earlier, a bed or a coffee table, whatever you have nearby. Elevate that back leg. Chest up nice and tall, Bulgarian, 30 seconds on this side. Ready, three, two, one, go. Great job. Checking my time back, back there. Chest up nice and tall. The challenge with the Bulgarian is there's all that weight being placed on that front leg. Back leg still being used to stabilize. However, it's less to our advantage as it would be on the floor. Ready, three, other side, two, one. Shake it up. Other side, three, two, one. Back leg comes up, chest up, and split squat. Great job. Notice how I'm not using weights for this particular set, just because I wanna make sure you and I both have the best form before we add weights next time around. Great job, you have a final five, four, three, two, one, shake it out. Alrighty, so we've gone through all of those movements, five movements together. We have two more rounds to go. And then we're on to a nice little cardio phase. Grab your breath and your water. Round two, starting back again with those counterbalance squats in four. Up with that weight. Three, two, one, counterbalance. I'm gonna turn so I can see my time. Great job, keeping that chest nice and elevated. That weight, try not to let it fall below 90 degrees. Keep it straight in front of your chest or even a little elevated if need be. Whew. Level two, I'm sorry, level one, bend the elbows. Bring that weight closer to chest. Four, last three, Two, one, goblet squat, weight comes into your chest. Three, two, one, let's go. Whew. Great job of keeping it up, y'all. I'm right here with you. More than halfway there. Great job, last 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Set that weight off. Whoop. I'm let it slide around. Grab your breath. Exercise three, unweighted squats. 30 seconds, three, two, one, and go. This workout is so simple, yet so effective. Squats, using every muscle, basically in the, in the body that we got. All the major muscle groups, at least. We got our quads, back, legs, thighs, everything. Even the core and back. 
Good, 10 seconds. Then to that, sorry, well, to that glute bridge. Four, three, two, one, great job. So this option with our glute bridge, feel free to come back to the ground and elevate those hips up or option two or level two, let's go ahead for hip thrust, okay? We use that surface that we set our back leg on for Bulgarians. Now, lean back onto the elbows and set the shoulder blades onto the ground. Now, I'm not completely on the bed here, okay? What I'm doing is letting my hips come down towards the ground, push them straight back, okay? Let's go ahead, get this started. Level one of this exercise, zero weight. So if you've never done this before, you can just get used to this hip hinge. Some of us may want to keep our back or our neck on the bed. However, that's not the most effective way for this movement. Back is flat, chest comes up. As I sink my hips down, almost there, five. Last four and Three, two, one, and let's go ahead, take a stand. <laughs> I'm so tired. Good job, y'all. I'm right here with you. Now, the final movement of this circuit is that Bulgarian split squat, okay? So back up with that weight if you'd like. Remember that first round, we didn't use weight at all, however, Feel free to pick up that extra set if you'd like. Step back, 30 seconds, three, two, one, and go up. Nice job. Feel free to take this as slow or as fast as you'd like. The cool thing about filming with time segments is that it doesn't matter how many reps you really get in. It's about holding each movement for 30 seconds at a time. Good, you have a final five, four, three, two, one, other side. Ready? Grab your breath and back up. Three, two, one, and go. Great job. Chest up. Breathing here. Good, halfway there. Nice job. Last five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, now, is your chance. Grab your water. We got one more round of this circuit. Then I promise you just a little bit of work and then we cool down together. How does that sound? Great to me. All right, so if you're ready, grab that single weight. Single weight, counterbalance squat. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Ooh. See, my weight is coming down past my shoulders, so I'm gonna bend my arms to keep it up. That's just a small indication that I'm getting tired, which is not a problem. That's a point. Four, three, two, one. Weight comes in, goblet squat. 30 seconds, go. Nice job. Great job, you got 13 seconds. Smile, keep breathing. Good, five, four, three, two, one, set it up. 
Grab your breath. 30 seconds, zero weight squat in three, two, one. Let's go. Be sure to be checking those knees. They're still following the path of those toes. You got it. Keep it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Shake it out. Notice how we haven't done one high impact movement yet. However, we're still working. Still some cardio here. Glute bridge or hip thrust with or without the weight. Ready? Three, 30 seconds, two, one, and go. Make sure that that weight stays glued to the hips. It's not rolling back and forth. Nice. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it off. Set that weight off. Whew. I'm feeling it, especially my quads. All right, now final movement, our Bulgarian split squats with or without your weights. Option three to use just one weight if you'd like, if you don't want to use both. Okay, step up. Back leg comes up, weights at your chest or to your side. Three, two, one, let's go. Woo. Feeling it. If you want that extra challenge, bring those weights overhead. Safely though, if you can. I'll be here. Four, three, two, one. Shake it up, other side. Three, two, one. Push back. Three, two, and go. Notice how one leg might be more tired than the other. Suggestion here, not mandatory. Next time you do your Bulgarian split squats, Use that weaker leg first. Whatever leg you're most tired with, now try using that leg first next time. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Great job. Let's go ahead and set that weight off. We don't need them for the rest of our workout. Okay, so grab your water. I'm gonna grab mine for one quick second. All right, we're back. Now, our final little push at the end of this workout. We have three more movements. First of which, jumping jacks. Okay, now you can make a low impact by alternating each leg or double jump. Okay, now, second movement is squat jumps. Okay, two options here, level one, regular squats. Level two, explode that knee, one knee at a time, off the ground. Level three, squat, jumps, okay? Third movement is mountain climbers. Take it down, back to high plank, knees to chest, okay? Run or walk. All right, 30 seconds, oh man, this is a tough workout. Good job, making it this far. 30 seconds each movement. Then we cool it down together. Nice job so far. Let's take it to the very end. Ready? Jumping jacks in four. 30 seconds, three, two. Pick your option, low or high impact. One, let's go. Whew. Wherever you are, picture yourself in between two walls. 
you're just sliding your arms and legs in between those two walls. Good job. Five. You got four. Three. Hair is coming down. Two. And one. Grab your breath. Ten seconds while I pick up my hair. Kittens meowing in the background. Wanted to come in and join us. Squat jumps in five. Low impact or high. Four, three, two, one. Level one. Let's go. Pick up the pace. Level two. Opposite knee comes up. Level three. Squat jump. You got it. Halfway there. Halfway there. Great job. That's it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab your breath. Hands come behind the head. Who killing it, y'all? Pause it if you need to. Down to those mountain climbers in ten. Man, it's tough. Ready? Thirty seconds. Mountain climbers, running or walking. Ready? Three or even standing. Knees to chest. Up to you. Ready? I'll be down in high plank. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Here you can see I'm pumping the knees. Level three. Run those knees. Whew, up to you. Hips are tucked, core is engaged, quads and glutes are flexed. Four, you got it. Three, whoo, two, and one. Walk those toes up. Roll it on up. Whoo. All right. Not a pretty sight to see me struggle, but I don't care because we're working out together. Great job. All right, take those arms overhead. Exhale, bring them behind your chest. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, chest up towards the ceiling. Exhale. One more time, inhale overhead. Exhale. Hands behind your chest. Let's plant those legs. Open up those fingers. I'm sorry, open up the chest like you're pulling the fingers apart. Inhale. Exhale, let's collapse the chest. Separate the shoulder blades. One more in. Exhale, collapse. Beautiful. Now let's cool down the lower half for a second. Let's go ahead, grab on to that left ankle. Use that bed, chair, coffee, neck, coffee stand if you have it. And let's grab onto that left ankle for that nice quadricep stretch. I am tired. That was so good. Let's bring that opposite arm up towards the ceiling. Challenge that balance a tiny bit. Take a look up for a little bit more balance challenge. Let's go ahead and take a deep step back with that same leg into a nice lunge. Drop that back knee, opening up that hip flexor. Level one, hands on the ground. Level two, hands at your knees, up to you. Level three, let's lean back, really opening up that hip flexor. That was amazing. I can't get over that. Great job. Let's go ahead and take a strong stand back up. Cross that same leg over that knee. Take a seat into that chair. Hold on to that surface for balance or hands to heart center. Really getting a nice glute stretch here. Hip opener. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Other side, then we're out of here. Take that opposite leg into hand. Little bit more challenge to balance. Bring that opposite arm up. 
Level three, eyes up. Good, step back. Same thing, deep stretch, deep lunge. Drop that back knee. Level one, hands on the ground. Level two, hands at your knees. Level three, lean back. Close the eyes. Let's take a little brief meditation to focus on where you're feeling the stretch. One deep inhale in. Send that breath to that stretching muscle. Three, two, one. Strong step back up. Whoop. Balance. And cross that same leg over that bottom leg. Take a seat. Hands to heart center or on that surface. Nice job. Three, two, one. Let's take two giant deep breaths together. Bring those arms in that sweeping motion up. Inhale. And exhale, dive forward. Inhale up. And exhale up. Last time, inhale, dive forward. And exhale. Roll it up. Awesome job today, y'all. Again, my name is Grace Gama. This is Lower Body Express. You did 32 minutes of work with me. Feel free to replay or send in some suggestions to groupfitness at sdsu.edu to add in anything else to our future upper or lower body express videos. Thanks again and have a wonderful rest of your day.